Welcome to Cloud Coaster Pod. This is a quick stream recording to explain the difference between do, hear, and z. So do is what we'll use most to say you. Z with a capital S is our formal you. And then ear makes things even more complicated because it's the plural for you, like y'all or you guys. So if I'm talking to a room full of people, I can use ear. Um, now, this can be very tricky for a first time German learner. So let me walk us through some examples and see if it makes more sense. So, what would I use if I want to ask my coworkers what time the meeting starts? For that one, I can use ear, because I'm talking to more than one person. I'm saying, hey, you guys, what time? Do you know when the meeting starts? I'm looking for answers from more than, than one person. What about meeting grandma for the first time? So I'm not sure if the article made clear, but all of your family, you can use do. Even if it's the very first time you're meeting them, even if they're way older than you, it's do. Um, People who are the same age as you, other students, are going to almost always be due. That doesn't ever really change unless you're taking college, but you'd still have to use due. Or graduate courses, like when you're in your mid-20s, you might use Z instead. Um, you present a project to the rest of your class. If you're talking to the whole class and you want to say you to them, you would say ear. Or individually, you might say do. If you're talking to your neighbor, um, asking him or her for a favor, if they're an adult, um, unless you guys are clo like close family friends and they've told you, you can say do, you want to stick with Z. Kunen Z, meinen Hund aufpassen. Could you watch my dog? Um, if you're talking to a police officer, somebody um, of an official capacity, you want to be sure and use Z. It's a, a, you can actually be fined in Germany for deliberately using do um, in certain circumstances to a police officer. So um, better to be safe than sorry. Um, let's say, let's see, your sister's new boyfriend. Unless your sister's um, much, much older than you and her new boyfriend is much, much older than you too, you're welcome to use do with that person, even if they're even if they're a stranger to you. So when you're when you're about 16 or younger, basically everybody's do. When you're older than that, there then it starts to get trickier. Um, when you meet your favorite celebrity and ask for an autograph, you, if you're asking anyone to do anything nice for you, you should start with Z if you don't know them. Um, it's, it's all about being the most polite you can in whatever circumstance here with do and see. So, for example, if you talk to your teachers, if you were a student in Germany, you'd want to use Z. Um, I don't mind if you use do when addressing me, but um, you're, if you were a teacher in Germany, especially if you need to talk about something like missing your homework, you would want to use Z. Um, yeah. And even high school teachers will start calling their students Z around the 11th grade. It's kind of the cutoff there. This is not an easy thing to remember, so hopefully this helps clear up.